I'm so excited to introduce our next guest to you. Jason Cisneros is the CEO of Feed a Billion. Yes, you heard me right, Feed a Billion. And he and the founding partner, AJ Jane, are going to provide a billion meals by the end of 2020. Welcome, Jason. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. So tell me, where did this come from? Feed a Billion is a big idea. Right, well, it came from a Tony Robbins event. And uh, like most Tony Robbins events, something amazing comes out of it. Mm -hmm. um, AJ was at, a, at one of his events back uh, last year, early last year, and stood up and shared his vision with Tony about feeding a billion people. Okay. And Tony uh, was like, well, look, I'm, I'm feeding people all the time. This is a big deal to me. They kind of played off of each other. And AJ said, well, we're going to start an organization to feed a billion. Tony said he would match meal for meal. So wow, here we are. So here we are. And how many meals have you already provided? 1.3 million meals to, to date. OK. And so by November 20th, 2020. November 20th, 2020 is when our, our, we're looking to reach that outcome. How are you doing it? Well, it's, a, it's an interesting mix. We looked back, uh, we're both from the business world, okay. and businesses look at things from a, a position of KPI, right? Are we getting more profitable or less profitable? And so we looked back over the, um, when AJ brought me in, he, we looked back over the history of the last 20 years of what's been happening in hunger. And it's actually gotten worse. Really? Worse, which is... That? is oh, I no idea. kind of shocking, right, <laughs> with all the technology. So we sat back, we looked at it from a different angle, and we said, what can we do? What are, what are the successes that we've seen? You know, the, the ice bucket challenge, the, the push-ups for suicide. How could we activate that part? And then also on the business side, if, we're, if anybody's in business, we understand that we're getting hit up every single day for some sort of charity. And we have big hearts, right? But the page of the checks only go so, so far. far, right? Yeah. And so what we didn't want to do was we didn't, we didn't want to knock on people's door and ask for money. We obviously have a way that you can donate. We, we want okay. donations. Those are, those are fantastic. Okay. But for businesses, what we wanted to do was add value. And what we, what we did was we said, give us a portion of your uh, social media budget, okay. connect it with a, 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 a social uh, outreach like Feed a Billion and, and connect those two and we'll, we'll help you get better reach with your clientele. We tested yeah. this actually with a company called LiveBearded.com okay. and they were the beta test for this and, and their engagement and sales went up 1200% by utilizing our, our strategy. Wow, so you took the marketing dollars that they already had allocated. Yes. You just put it through your system. That's right. And then that extra went to meals. Absolutely. And I understand you're using Facebook and all the other social media to do it too. So how can people actually get involved? Well, uh, we are doing hashtag billion meal challenge. There's hashtag feed a billion and there's also feed a billion org, which is the website uh, and they can visit visit that. And we've got a if you go to feed a billion uh, on Facebook and you like or share for a like, we connect you to a company and they donate a meal in your name. Uh, if you That's share, it. it's 10 meals in your name. And then on the other side of that, remember, we've got Tony Robbins. So just by doing something that, we, that, that you do day in and day out on social media, there's 10 meals from, from the participating company, and then there's 10 meals from Tony. So 20 meals get produced mm -hmm. from just that activity. Just a like and a share. That's right. That's amazing. So everyone's on Facebook. We can Absolutely. do it. And now, if you do it more than once, can you do it one time? Do you only, or does it? It depends. There's going to be multiple teams, multiple okay. companies, and uh, you know, as this thing expands and blows up, we're probably going to, you know, need to 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 change the rules and adjust them. But right now, it's like and share as much as you want to, and we'll make sure that we turn those into meals for people who who need them. So what is a meal? I know when we think of a meal here, we may think of, you know, a McDonald's tray or we may think of a filet mignon or right. a bowl of cereal. Right. It's what amazing. You, it's, you can hold it in your hand and it's a little bag and it's got rice, uh, fortified rice, mm -hmm. uh, lentils and dehydrated vegetables and then a little bit of protein powder for the support of, of uh, the muscles. So they just it's, add water? Add or? water, cook it up and, and uh, it's off and running. If you go to the feedabillion.org you can see some of our meals are already hitting uh, over in Kenya. Uh, we support uh, you know companies here or, or charities here in the US also in India mm -hmm. and in Africa. 
So can people choose the area that Absolutely. they want to focus on? Really? They can choose where they, the, which country they would like to support, and uh, and we'll make sure that their that whatever their donation or their their choice is, that, we, that the food gets there. And there's plenty of hungry here in the U.S. So you're forty two million, forty two million, million. yeah. And it's amazing, you know. You count to the the thing that shocks me is you count to four: one, two, three, four. Somebody just died of hunger, not hunger-related issues, of hunger, of starvation, right? Every four seconds. And here in the United States, ten people a day, wow. ten people a day dying. It, 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 it's this is the thing that was so frustrating for us was. It's something that can be solved. There's enough food, there's enough technology, there's enough, there, there's enough in this world to make sure that nobody has to go to bed at night with, with a hungry stomach, right? Or being malnourished at all. And it's just a matter of what raising the attention and focusing resources for a few years. And I think this is one of those, those causes we'll be able to get rid of. So there are a lot of agencies out there trying to solve hunger and they've been at it certainly as long as I can remember. That's right. So how is this different? How are you going to make it happen? Well, a lot of these organizations, what we've done is we've done some research to see what are the organizations that are able to go to Africa, for instance, and get past the warlords, right? Because in those in those countries, food is, is more valuable than gold. And so when they capture, there's a lot of well-meaning people that try to send food and whatnot, but the warlords, you know, and the different people intercept it. Um, and so what we've done is we've chosen those entities that are are very very good at getting food directly into the people's hands that need it uh, but aren't so good at raising the finances or mm -hmm. or having the resources to to be able to um, do this so they're really really good at one thing and those are the companies that we're looking to resource at a very very high level excellent so you're you're becoming more of an organizer of the systems that are already out there that's right so they can get better play for their efforts that's right that's genius mm -hmm. thank you thank you so much for being here so My tell pleasure. us again Jason where can people find you how can they reach out to feed a billion uh, hashtag billion meal challenge mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be kicking off on March 1st First, feed a billion, hashtag feed a billion, and then also feedabillion.org. Jason, thank you so much for being with us. Great information, an amazing organization. To our viewers, if you'd like more information on Feed a Billion, please go to the website that you see on the screen. We'll be back with In the Kitchen with Amy and Lauren.